This is tutorial number three, and we're going to cover how to sketch on a plane with an Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a brand new part file. Let's click File, click New, click Standard, click OK. So now we've opened up a part file, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to sketch on the YZ plane, the XZ plane, and the XY plane. So right now, what we have selected is the XY plane. So we're going to sketch somewhere on the grid. Now to start off, let's sketch a circle. So we're going to click the center point circle. So click it. And what your first click is going to do is you're going to anchor the center point of the circle. So click it. And now when you drag it out or drag it in, you're making the circle bigger or smaller. And you've already anchored a point there. And from that point, we're going to drag it out and bring it in. So make your circle as large as you want. Click OK. Click return, and let's click the rotate, and you can see that we've sketched, if you click the XY plane, along the XY plane. Now this time, let's choose the XZ plane, so let's click it, click sketch, and now we're going to sketch along the XZ plane. So for this, let's do a rectangle, so let's choose a two-point rectangle. Click one point to anchor one corner of the rectangle, and now you're able to pull it out in any direction and make a rectangle of your choice. So once you've found the rectangle that you want, click the second point, and now you've made your rectangle. Now let's click return, click rotate, and we're able to see that we've sketched on two different planes. Now let's sketch on the third plane, unclick the rotate, click the YZ plane, click sketch and for this one we're going to sketch a random drawing so to start off let's click line and with the line all you do is the first click you're going to anchor the line and the second click is going to put it wherever you want so once you click there you made it and now you keep going your second click becomes the anchor for your second line and you can just keep going around and we've closed it. Now let's say that we don't like one of the lines that we made. All we have to do is click the select button. We'll select that line, click delete, and we've erased that line that we put in. Now where we just deleted that line, let's click the three-point arc and we're gonna put a curve in there. How the three-point arc works is you need to make two anchors, one at one point, one at the other point there, and then you're able to pull the circle or the arc out and around. So once you've made the arc that you want, click again, and you finished it. Now let's click return. Let's zoom out a little bit. Click the rotate button. And now when you rotate, you can see that we've sketched along three different planes. One plane there, one plane there, and one plane there. So we've sketched along the YZ plane, the XZ plane, and the XY plane. And this concludes our tutorial on how to sketch along planes within Autodesk Inventor.